Welcome to Obedient Family TV, the program now hope our life. Yes. On a good morning, afternoon, and uh, evening, depending on our time zone. Today will be Sunday. I de greet all of for now. Make on take our salute. We come this evening, make on make we bring waiting the happen. The breaking news where they come out from Emo State. Say hope was or them uh, don't begin the Threaten not just uh, the NLC uh, uh, Presido, where we were here since uh, three days ago, but now you don't begin the attack. Almost every candidate will be say it they in most state where they won't do uh, their governorship election, where it may never even reach one week. Now they don't begin the para for that very side. Hope or them might don't begin the attack. Even Senator Atan Achono, the LP candidates. They attack them today, today, will be Sunday. And what you would they hear no too sweet because even the peace accord where they talk for Imo State since every party sign them. Now hope those of the man no sign that peace accord and they know they talk anything about them. So what you mean they do be say in don't begin the plot to assassinate according to what you would they hear and the day for news, even NLC. They show him say he did, uh, he did plot to plot uh, uh, to assassinate their president. And they also turn uh, Tamam to become a terrorist for Imo State. So with all these things where they happen for Imo State, now we'll go talk today. Then we get other things where they come like for any good state now. We don't hear say the court of um, appeal will be said and they sit down for Lagos. Send them go begin to hear the matter of a Chijoke dog. I will be the person who represent Labour Party for their uh, election, for general election. And they, they, now, tomorrow, tomorrow, nine that one, they happen. So we we'll carry that talk, enter today again. And again, we don't they see, say, uh, Asari Dokobo, person will be say in the interview, like anyhow. To enter Villa no Griam again, in them begin the para, the dare chief Bola Tunubu to a dance, whether not for Market Square. We will carry that one come out again. And not only me go talk this thing, I get our own princess for house who go join me talk. Princess, welcome to the show. Greetings to all me, Nigerians and fellow obedient worldwide. Welcome back to Hope Alive. Our democracy is not yet matured. Because elections are still rigged and influenced by violence. Our mandates are being purchased by the highest bidder. You can imagine Hope Ozodema during his campaign is still saying, I, I will do this, I will do that, I will create jobs. When as a sitting governor, you should be saying, I have done this, I have done that, I have created jobs, and then vote me on that basis. You can imagine the irony. Well, join us as we discuss. Yes, Imo citizens raise alarm. Say, hope who's or them are one by people will be said and they their sake of say in one maintaining seat. Uh, we get different people will be said and they talk um for online. We get uh, the person where they uh, where they call uh, Odogu. He say must election be a do or die affair in Nigeria. Must blood be shed because you want to gain or retain a political position in Nigeria. Senator Atana Chonu Convoy was attacked at Oyo Bineze Oware West Local Government Area by uh, Tiger Bears and the Bubago Security, otherwise uh, known as um, talks of um, Hope Ozodema, or the people he uses to penetrate uh, his works. But as we they see this event, they happen for Imo State. We see say no be only uh, just few days ago. Now in the same uh, hope Uzodema come uh, send people will go attack the president of NLC. You understand me? Yes. And uh, the uh, income where in the dress uh, whether in a cabinet or for for villa we can't see say what in mean the talk for inside the accusations they correct. Because in talk say na him be the person will be say him be the chief security officer of the state, in no go allow some certain things go to happen and all that. Mm -hmm. So now be say in there away no go fit talk say he no know, know what in uh, they happen for their princess. Yes, now because he's definitely like he he said in the um, video that he's the head. So anything that happens in that state, one way or the other, he has to um, give consent to it. 
Do you understand? When all these things are happening in your state, you should be at fault as the leader, as the person that is heading the state. You should be at fault. But the one that happened to NLC, he's saying what he said, and now we are hearing what's going on with the, um, the attack on, um, what's his name again? The, um, actual, the LPs, yes, uh, this thing. Exactly. So all these things he's just saying is showing how unstable his governance is in okay. that state. Okay. Again, let's again look at the fact that uh this Uzo, to oppose the mice of the apc okay. and apc has that very belief that they are above the law you understand me yeah. during the uh, lagos state gubernatorial election we see the kind of things by mc or Luomo or other people from lagos or who were actually telling the Igbos that they must uh, vote apc or don't come out to vote at all and nothing happened to from to, to them yeah. now he has started that in the eastern part of nigeria you understand me mm -hmm. and also using threats of violence and um, all kind of manner of things to return power which we know in the first instance he never got first neither did he go second nor that even third. i think he was the fourth person in that election you understand me yeah. but now he wants to return power by power uh, uh, by force you understand yes. and i think at this very point princess that nigerians especially well-meaning nigerians and obedience needs to come to rescue of the emolites you understand yes. why do i say they need to come to rescue of emolites wherever we see people uh, uh, politicians are showing their power obedient needs to show their might well meaning Nigerians need to show their might by moving out to support a particular candidate, especially in Imo State that uh, uh, LP or P2B has endorsed this uh, 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 Etan uh, Achono. You understand me? Yes. We move to support him, and how do we do that without violence, without illegality? We already know what their plans are. Their plans is rig the election and ask you to go to court. Yes. Of course. Mahmoud Yakumu will always do what they want them to do. You get my point? Yes. So what do the obedience and well-meaning Nigerians do? We go out on the 11th of November, mobilize the people who are going to be on different polling units to get us that very particular form EC8A or is it it a, a B's? Uh, you know, for the one for the governors, you know, we're always mentioning from EC8A, that is for the president. But for the forms that are coming out that shows those numbers that exactly what was voted is what they'll be transmitting to the obedient family tv you understand yes. and we'll be projecting it let's see how they will ask us to go to court yes. I, I think you get my point yes yes and mm. this is to show you the they actually know the power we have because if you remember that time when he was trying to um um say that lp endorsed him if you if you remember that time when he was mm. trying to like um get our our support that's to show you that they actually know the power that we hold they know that we are actually able to you know if we go for something if we are focused and we drive we channel our energy together at something we'll actually achieve it and at that time they were trying to drag our attention and all that and that's what's going on now okay as you can see from the screen we see that even uh, somebody tweeted that the resident electoral commissioner that is the INEC nigeria in Imo state is the younger sister of at official APC Nigeria, meaning it's an APC person, national deputy chairman. You understand me? Mm -hmm. They are putting their brothers and sisters in that place. How do you expect Labour Party to excel? How do you expect P to be after endorsing Etan Achanu to excel in Imo State? Except we do the needful. People who have an interest in APC are the ones now in charge of INEC. Yeah. But you still expect the opposition to win an election. Not even a regular election, but an off-cycle one for that matter. Before the first vote is cast, the system is already rigged by the ruling party. So you understand what I'm we saying? We just found um, out four out yeah. of ten newly appointed INEC resident electoral commissioners yes. are individuals from Tinibu's camp, uh, yes. APC. Mm. Four out of ten. And you can imagine when four out of ten are from APC on this own, mm. two from these four people are actually card carriers of APC. That, I think that is so, what is actually making hope so they might bring the, bold, the, the bold boldness. Yes, exactly. or, or, or what do they call it? the F on tree? You understand me? Yes. To dare anybody in Imo State. Yes. You get my point. Yes. And if a wreck 
he is an APC member. You are not expecting that another person is going to win that election. I don't know exactly, if you get my exactly, point. Exactly. So that's why I'm calling on obedience worldwide. Well meaning Nigerians, let's go out to Imo State and show them that we can take it from the polling. You, you understand me? From yes. the polling booth. They can't beat us to that point. Mm -hmm. It's just for us to mobilize on each of the polling units. We have ob obedience and well-meaning Nigerians who are from Imo State who are going to be at different polling units to vote on that very November 11th. Yeah. And if it is well-coordinated, each of every form must come in even we will uh, do our national uh, duty by broadcasting the, those things live as they come in we are shooting them out let them now ask us to go to court and let's present what we have that is unadulterated mm -hmm. anyway and look at to show you the way this here the length he has actually gone in showing his power he there's a video we have of um customers, people that actually booked a hotel. He has booked all the hotels in Imo State in ahead of his election. He has booked all the hotels to maybe accommodate the people that will come. All I got that I mean. very uh, distinct. The, the point is that those people already paid a forehand before him. Exactly. Now what he did is that in his a kind of uh, uh, organ, As, chief security, mm -hmm. he went to that very hotel and I think we won't hide this name of this very hotel. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Let's get that very video in, uh, please. It's very important so that uh, uh, the, they will understand understand what actually happened to that very place these people made the reservations months ahead for what they are doing in emo state yeah. but guess what on the day of they are to check into this hotel yeah. they go to the hotel and they were stranded and were littered outside yes. let's take a listen at that very video uh, to see what um uh, the people there were saying because actually where reservations for uh, for girls of federal government girls college already who had come in for their 50th uh, global reunion and who had reservations at the hotel were left disappointed what we heard was that in spite of reservations that have been made several months before this date at the last minute the hotel management gave away the reservations to politicians who came in leaving many girls old girls of federal government girls college were stranded at the lobby no place to sleep no place to stay completely completely disenchanted with the management of Protea Hotel Marriott in the worry it was it is, it is, to say the least very disappointing that a, a hospital a hotel chain no globally as Marriott could Play this very unhospitable hand to their clients. So you don't see how our people get they stranded for hotel, pro tier hotel. I've been no be pro tier, I've been away with uh, this thing. Yeah. Anyway, she mentioned that very hotel. We try to be um uh, to you know avoid uh, a yeah. this thing, but the hotel did wrong. If they know that they have collected money from these people months ahead, mm -hmm. I don't see a reason why a uh, hope Zodima should come in and then kick these people out without them making an alternative alternative yes. arrangement for this guest you understand me exactly. hotel is about hospitality it's about you showing uh, you know the comfort that people can get when they get to your place yeah. and this kind of power he is a, a doing and nobody is cautioning or talking about is actually what we was doing in river state when he was there exactly. everybody was oh we is a, a, a g5 Man, man, yeah. he was spending money anyhow, and all of that. At the end of the day, he floated and rigged the river state for Tinubu, and nobody that talk has ceased and became the minister of FCT. Mm -hmm. And we are still in the Nigeria.
it's more like as if they were awarding him or rewarding him for what he did in Riverdale. That's exactly what because they did. Because you can imagine him. someone that should not even be in a state of power anymore because mm. of what has uh, that has transpired mm. is now in a higher position. So you can imagine when you hear him talk, you hear the audacity in his tone. You remember he in said, that is uh, and he was saying that um yeah he paid for everybody's form that contested, no yes. one paid a dime, and you can imagine when he's requesting for the twenty five percent, you see where it's coming from. He said even one naira that even the government ship can they did not let's take a lesson from you we know uh, those things are out there and uh, we want people to hear this once again how if we keep not leaving this uh, uh, dealing with these people right to the uh, uh, where we need to get that very thing out which is the polling uh, units we can get it done let's take a lesson i paid for every form i paid nobody will say as son he paid for any form to run for governorship. Nobody will say so. Nobody will say that he paid one naira to buy for House of Lords form. Nobody will say he paid one naira to buy assembly form. Nobody will say he paid one naira to buy senate uh, form. They are all here. They are all here. If this is not a trainee or betrani, I don't know what it is. Multi-party system that we are supposed to be uh, that is supposed to be evolving in Nigeria. What we see is somebody will come out and then mortgage uh, everybody in a particular state, and at the end of it all, nobody talks. He has paid everything. Said not even one naira. Why wouldn't you expect him to be asking you uh, to pay him twenty-five percent of all river state allocation? Why wouldn't he? Because you cannot be able to pay for your own form. If you are in, in an obedient and you can't pay for your form, ask for the obedience and one million Nigerians to pay for your form. We can. Yes, we can. And that is how I feel about this very song. But make we leave uh, that very side. Make we for checkmate waiting to happen for this APC now. We don't see some people ma, don't begin the change. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Asari Dokubo. Yeah. Where they waka kukere, they enter villa anytime. They go see them for uh, where Tunubu go see them. Coat of hand, go there for him back. He go to address uh, a press briefing. We no see him back. How market now? I won't even ask him because I see the video where him come out. Where him they tell Tunubu say uh, if uh, him, him they do any how now. Say them go do him any how. Not be the same person now in the talk say if you do any how, we show you any how. You him don't see any how now. Make we hear as in take talk and myself. You might go pain him this time around. Kola Tinibu is traveling on a a very dangerous path. And if he does not correct it and change some of these appointments, even we who are his hardcore supporters will not be able to stand with him. It's up to you. If you feel that you are comfortable now, things are going to be easy now. They tell you that you can do whatever you like. You can do what Buhari or worse than what Buhari did. It is one-sided appointment. So you two can do your one-sided appointment. You are not Buhari. Know that. You are not. Buhari had a cult followership. You do not have that sort of cult followers. If there are cult followers, we are your cult followers. Those people who are now around benefiting, making appointment, taking decision, they were afraid to stand by you. If they were not afraid to stand by you, they will not go and be contesting for House of Rep and so on. If they actually believe that you win the election, they wanted the bed in hand is worth more than a thousand bell in the bush. That was what they were saying. We stake everything and stood by you. Today you brought them, so they laugh at us. They were afraid to offend people. Today they are the masters.
Sorry, Doku, but what would they ask you if you say how market? You know why Kakuru Kere enter Villa again? You talk say na what in the then they call him turn by turn, no be so. Yes, eh? no. I'm not, I don't know. Turn what by is. turn, no. <laughs> eh? Hey, eh? Yo, turn nah, by turn, don't jam up with that. Wait for him turn now. Have so, you? I don't know why. Then they give right. appointment, make you wait. In turn <laughs> they come. A sorry, Doku, but it is turn by turn. Mm -hmm. Wait for your own turn. You then go give you your own uh, minister of uh, Niger Delta militants. Turn by turn. No. I mean, <laughs> not turn. He never reach your turn. Be patient. Eh? So, I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's high time. when Because I feel like he can just swing by any... As long as the money is here, he will swing. Now, maybe they are not giving the appointment they, they promised him. Mm. And he now has the, the effrontery to come. The name is where he submit never work. <laughs> you understand? Now, the threatening chief, Bola Tinubu. He may not say, now the master for job. You know, before job. The master, he, now master of almost everything. Master for a name. Master for death of birth. Mm. In Sabi, person will be say over 200 mi million people. He do them bombozo like this. See, so don't fall so wrong. Not the small person be that, you understand? Exactly. So making the threaten chief Bola Tinubu. <laughs> they uh, use Tinubu compared to Buhari. <laughs> Tell him, say, um, Buhari get his own this thing, so he should not lose guard then because of. See, he should better sit down well, carry seat belts, eh, and relax on that comes. seat. Uh -huh. Because it will, whether it comes or not, that's his problem. Because he put himself in the position he's in right now. And these are the people that, if you know you want to lie well, like Tinibu is, has been doing, lie with your full chest. Mm -hmm. um, but unlike him, look at what he's doing now. Mm -hmm. Now he's no longer his turn and he's coming to rant. Okay. Who will listen to him? Yes, yeah, so. Anyway, make our people comment for coming uh, for comment section. Make we know waiting uh, uh, waiting on our people. They think about this as a But I will remind on us on one comment. Make on a remind them saying a turn by turn. So make him wait for in turn. And um, with that very one, we know give them too much uh, this our time. Uh, we just want our people to know. But uh, we get you see Maxwell will be say put uh, tweet waiting for uh, uh, explanate give us. He say if you must be a good liar, you must have a good and retentive memory. The reverse is the case for your selected president. See as person that or bad be like Baba Ijebu betting code. 52, 54, 55. Just use 19 brosham. You now you go concert. That is not betting. You know when you won't bet. So I want you to talk this thing. Eh? You know, say for that in Guinean passport, na 1952. Then uh, we see for in uh, for a uh, birth certificate where you get in the you get, between 54. No, 54. the one of you um for Chicago State University, you be like say that one at 54. You understand me? Yeah. Then you get another one first. So what Maxwell they actually explain here be say. It is like betting code. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And but I want to remind Maxwell, oh, the code where this man bet, he really worked for Amo mm -hmm. because from Haruna Samani, he work. I uh, know from INEC, yes. he work. Then from, from there, he go enter Haruna Samani. The same betting number work, and he reached for Supreme Court. Now for there, the number can't even jam. You understand? Yes. So that code. Be like say work, so that's why we need to plan. We need to work around and make what we say this team no go work again. So uh, with that very one, uh, make we work out enter um, <laughs> uh, first two skiamo. If you like say embody don't they show I'm small. After uh, the meeting he had with the president, uh, with the president or, or so, all those kind of meetings, he now came out to tell all the CEOs that if they sack, if they will not sack me because if if I for them to sack me, I will sack you. Even if I want to die, you will join. I don't understand how he's saying that because no. this is something that is not as if this incident is happening now because I'm sure all this is coming up because of the um, plane crash that happened. I think few. Days ago, and he's now coming to talk like this is the first plane crash that's going on. Just the, the, the point be say now he first fit even crash for the aircraft. You understand me? Because I know no waiting then carry person where no fit uh, do sound well. That person will be say he no fit go defend person for Supreme Court well well. Carry him go begin they give an aviation job. Now which place then talk saying don't uh, go fly plane before we no no. Now which time he get experience will consign the aviation sector we no no. Now which time he get experience will go bring growth. And prosperity, and then creates uh, jobs for that very sector. We know, no, then carry and go give them 
First thing will happen when they talk that yesterday. Now, plane crash will for kill that minister. But God can't help him. He never die. You understand? But what will they tell Nigeria and be say If they no begin to push, make this Kiyama will be the aviation minister. Either in Komodia or in go employ competent people. Where we say then go begin the uh, chook eye for inside, we will see another Dana airline will go happen. It go just spy everybody for inside the uh, airplane. You understand me? Yeah. Uh -huh, because they're supposed to they check all the things where we say all this aircraft, but we know they see any of those things that and, happen. And uh, because you know no way thing go do. Right now he's trying to now push the blame to the CEOs to do this, do that. Mm. If he actually, if he, if like you said, if he has been in that field for a long time, he should be able to know. Okay, these are the solutions to this problem. This is what you should do to avert or prevent this from happening. But he knows nothing. He doesn't know jack about the job. So, and when you don't know anything, when you give someone the job that doesn't know the onions of the job, this is what happens. He gets something where he know now to how to come for Facebook to 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 ex uh, Twitter to the lie. Now that one is happy because more things now he go come tweet again. Many things when you in don't lie. Say they, even the uh, European Union come carry and enter their book. Is there for their book where then that report where they give that time? Mm -hmm. Say they tweet fake information. Now it's a be uh, tweet. And we. Uh, I got some information that all these like all these um, pilots they are underpaid. Some of them they won't get paid for over a year. Mm -hmm. Like how can they function well in that kind of environment? Them David Hun they um, tweeted something and he was saying Nigerian elites are so hopeless. This is how they treat the people responsible for the only mode of transportation that can actually take them. Because some people say on on X we are saying Hukuma that since this one don't happen for them on air. Let it now make them to be going on, on road so that mm. they will now repair the roads. Oh, we are ready yes, now because since he, um, the place that will take them are now crashing and all, maybe it will now deviate their mind to the road and repair it. And maybe all of us will be going away because they don't care, they are all flying out thinking that they are safe so that the common Nigerian will be suffering on the road and be having accidents every single day because of the bad roads that is done. Do you understand? So, since this is happening, and if it becomes a norm like them. Kokuma, they will now repair the roads and we'll all be okay. Yes, uh, but the point is that they are not going to go on road. No, they are not. scared of kidnapping that has made rampant. They are scared of, um, uh, of um, uh, you know, bandits. You understand me? Yes. They are afraid of all They're of those of things. So they can't even go on the roads. So the, the roads are not motorable. They know it. That's why they are actually asking for Highlander. But anyway, let's go back to... Um, what uh, David Dundain tweeted about that. He said, Nigerian elites are so hopeless that after failing to invest in infrastructure and security for road, rail, and water transportation, this is how they still treat the people responsible for the only mode of transportation left to them. They think and act like hungry termites. Now, that is where if you go to David Hunday's uh, post, uh, he has other things that are joining there to show you some of the people who are chatted with him and shown him messages to suggest that they are working on, uh, on uh, airlines that doesn't pay them. As, as as the case may, may be and, like and um, that's why a lot of people are going out of the country now a lot of people want to leave this country uh, but i'm just hoping that all the people that voted for the person that sits on that seat now they should better remain here with us so that we'll be suffering it together because they cannot after maybe doing what they did and the person is there now and causing what they causing the pain that we are going through now let me not leave. let me be clear with you Let's be clear about all of these things because first is that he said it. I'm not saying it from my own uh, authority. I'm saying it because he said it. He said, I know you people did not vote for me. You understand? So when somebody tells you that he knows you did not vote for him, it means he is going to do anyhow. You didn't give him any mandate. He's not even afraid of you. And when leaders are no longer afraid of his citizens, there is doom. We keep saying that. So anyway, um, we already know that people want to jabber from Nigeria. We are not encouraging that. 
in as much as you know that things are very very hard in this country and it's very expensive seeing thousands of nigerians in different places as you can see from this very video that when you go out to even the INS, that is nigeria immigration service to get passport you can't even be able to do that in one week time why because they have thousands of people who are lined up to get out of nigeria why is this so and some people will come on um, national TV to tell us that things are working. There is one that actually happened between um, uh, this guy of our rise, Useni, and one other man that, uh, that came on board. And the man was even threatening that he's going to leave their studio. You understand me? Yeah. But Useni was asking him, you understand, Rufai was actually asking him, tell me what has worked since Tunubu took over. Let's take a listen to that. Representation of the facts. That's number one. Number two, since President Tinubu got, the, got the, in. The, let the, me the, finish, the, Mr. Nopasa. Let me finish. Let me finish, please. Secondly, uh, that, that, since he this, got, this, since this, this, got in. Don't raise your voice at me, young man. <laughs> don't raise your voice at let me. Let me finish, finish Mr. Nopasa. Let me finish. I'm your guest. So, you will since President Tinubu got in. respect me. Since President Tinubu no, got in. I, I will go out of your studio if you raise your voice at me. Mr. Lopeza, you may will take your decision it. if you want to. I'm asking a question. You might decide to walk out if you want to. Uh, Mr. Lopeza, since President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. It's at an all-time low as we speak. It has not. I, it has not. Let tanked. me finish my question. Mr. Lopeza, let you me finish my question. You are a liar. Mr. Lopeza, moderate yourself. All right? Moderate Do you yourself. know what you are doing? Good. Listen, listen to me. You're my Secondly, Do you know what you are doing? Since are, President Tinubu came in, the economy has tanked. You are pretending to be, and, uh, to be a journalist. The indicators are the there. With you. Since he Don't came in, the indicators me, are there. Number guest, one, the cost of the dollar me. to the what Naira. The, matter with you? the cost of the dollar to the Naira has tanked tremendously as just of the flotation of the currency. All right, that's one. Is that secondly, fault? Secondly, Don't you know why Naira tank? I'm still asking my question. Secondly, Naira it's been an because all of your friends because it's been an all-time malaise in the economy as we speak. Uh, cost of living I, gone up I, I tremendously. All right, and things are really, really south for the economy. So, in all of this, it's been a slopey downward spiral. What would you have to say? about all of this, Mr. Lapasa. Thank you very much for that question, Rufai Hosseini. Please, uh, Dr. Ruben Abati and my, my adorable uh, 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 in-law, uh, Mrs. Myro Essie, does anybody have a more reasonable question for me to answer? Because I am not dignifying that insulting question from Rufai with a response. I am not. Mr. Lopez, I will see that you are bailing on my question and it's all right. It's all right for you to bail out if you don't want to answer it. But I am not evading right. your question. Listen, <laughs> Please Rufai, answer it if you can. Rufai, you listen, listen to me. This is not animal psychology. It is law. Okay? If you want to be a journalist, you can be a journalist. And you should learn the ropes for those ahead of you. Mr. Nogwaza, you can answer never my question. Be my mate. You can never. Mr. Nogwaza, okay. answer, answer okay. the question. Dignify yourself. Mr. Jegu says that dignify yourself and answer the question. Please. Dignify yourself. Please, and can, answer we the have, question. can we have peace? Dignify can we, yourself and answer the question. Can we have peace in this studio? My God. Can we have what's, peace? What's wrong, wrong with this badly brought up little boy? Mr. <laughs> Nogwaza, Mr. Nogwaza, Mr. Nogwaza, please, please calm down. It's very, very simple. What has worked since uh, Tinubu 
came into as a Nigerian president. What has really worked, nothing, Princess? Nothing has worked because if you watch the video like we did now, you see that he was just hovering around, just gambling from one point to another. He doesn't know what to say. And the question that is coming that is out direct. from this thing is direct. direct. He told him, first of all, you are not bringing this thing correctly. Chinubu stated on the day that he was on his inauguration day yeah. that subsidy has been removed. And this man is coming to a national TV to state otherwise. It's really, really unfortunate. And uh, he's claiming to be a senior. He's claiming to be. And I, I, I was wishing he would just stand up from that his seat. Let's know that uh, he has because wanted his. If, uh, if um, the, something positive had come out from the how many months that Tinbu has been president, it will not. He won't waste time to start seeing them, listing them out one after the other. Yes. But nothing from wasting our money on... Uh, That's been on borrowing, borrowing, borrowing and borrowing. And borrowing and wasting the small that we have in store. He's finishing it. I don't know if they are planned. Because, you know, remember when they were um, doing their um, campaign, he was saying that you should not mind um, P2B, that P2B's own is just strategy, build their job strategy. I, I'm mm. looking at them now and I'm it's like... It's chopping thing that they are doing now. I don't understand. It, it's their strategy to finish the remaining money left and incur more debts in Niger in, um, on Nigerians and while getting more from the taxpayers' money and all without doing anything, nothing whatsoever. Okay, uh, let's give a reminder just uh, back now that um, uh, Chijoke, a, a dog, uh, that is the Enugu State uh, Gubernatorial uh, Candidate of Labour Party, um, there is an announcement uh, from the Court of Appeal sitting in uh, uh, Lagos that uh, by tomorrow Monday that they will be having a hearing on that matter. Recall that um, that very uh, what took them to this very court of appeals is as a result of the tribunal in Enugu, which uh, sat and they declared um, that uh, affirmed the uh, this thing of um, uh, Peter Mba as a uh, governor. Also note that um, Peter Mba. Uh, was not qualified uh, to uh, to contest the governorship uh, election of uh, or, uh, that Enugu state due to the forgery of the certificate, which uh, the NYSC itself came to court and um, identified uh, the fact that the certificate was actually forged and not from them. Yet, um, tribunal sitting in Enugu still declared him the, and affirmed his uh, governorship um, victory according by them. So this is coming to, coming up tomorrow. We ha we are you know praying that we hear good things that will come out from that um, uh, to add to what Labour Party has gotten. So we'll be tracking that and we're following that thing up uh, for tomorrow. So we will be bringing that up um, tomorrow. We, we just hope that this hearing will. We just hope that this hearing will not go as every other one has been going because the fate, if, if you notice, people don't have hope in the judiciary and they have time and time again disappointed us and proven that they are corrupt and compromised. Okay, let me, let me even tell you something. Eh? When I was younger, I used to hear that uh, the, um, the magistrates, the ones that are in the low cadre of, um, of a judicial system, the magistrates, so I never believed that the corruption we are talking about will get into the state high court. From the gradually, I keep I got to hear about this. Then I hear about federal high court, and then now at this my age, I'm hearing about Supreme Court, which is the last hope of the common man. So where do you get that from? Why would a tribunal say contrary to what the people who own the certificate has said in the first place? The one of Chicago State University was actually from U.S., very far away from here. But this one is that is the same government of Nigeria, National Youth Service Corps, came out to say this certificate did not emanate from them. Yet, he was declared uh, the winner at the tribunal. Let's hope that the uh, Court of Appeal, we do the right thing. We are watching them. And we follow them up um, tomorrow. That, that is how far we are falling as a country and as a system that should be upholding the people that they are. And um, 
I'm, I, I just found out that PDP and LP in Kogi State, the election that were coming up, PDP and LP kind of um, had an alliance. And in, um, in a press release that they had on Saturday, they formed an alliance and agreed that, okay, LP now brought um, Dino, right? Dino as their candidate in Kogi State. That they and kind of endorsed. Endorsed mm. Dino, yes. And I'm like, this, is the, uh, this kind of alliance is what they should have done long before now. Because I, from, I would want to believe that both parties have the, um, the betterment of the people at heart. And if that is true, they should have done this long ago to save Nigerians from what's going on. Because if this had happened in the presidential level, this would not be happening. We will not be going through what we are going through right now. If they had done this in other states, we would not be fighting against ourselves. Do you understand? Because this is more like joining forces to fight against a common evil. And instead of fighting against ourselves, I feel like this is a good move from them to join hands together and see what they can achieve. Well, from I, them. I see some of our people who are actually uh, talking about this. But what I want to, uh, you know, reach out to obedience, we understand that um, uh, Dino Belaya has been very extravagant, uh, has showed off uh, several things uh, while he's at Senate and the House of Reps. We have been following him. We know his uh, track record. We know when he used to be the mouth of the masses, and we know when he used to oppose vehemently. But uh, do is the Dino of those days the Dino of today? That remains to be heard. But at the same time, uh, we have the comment section, we have our well-meaning Nigerians worldwide, and we have obedience wherever they are. Do you think that the obedience in Kogi State uh, should look out and join issues with uh, Dino Melai? Please um, uh, make that on the comment section. Let's see who and who are um, after uh, us you know, trying to um, reach out to Dino or try to see how we protect his interest or he, is Dino an obedient person um, or should we say that Dino Melaye is a well-meaning Nigeria? But uh, coming back, that is questions I want our people to go to the comment section Answer. to make and then to like and share so that other people will know so we know where our obedience in Kogi State, where they are headed. But on the other things that you spoke about, you understand, if uh, they signed a pact in Kogi State, that is between PDP and the uh, Labour Party, well, this is what they should have done when we are at the presidency level, when P2B wanted to contest. Mm -hmm. They should know that the deal of our P2B and probably I think would have been better instead of what happened, you understand? Yeah. So, uh, well, I keep my reservations on that. Let's just see what obedience are going to talk about the major. Uh, of um, PDP and LP in Kogi State, and let's hope it is not a ploy by the PDP uh, to uh, try to infiltrate yeah. the obedient movement, which we will vehemently resist. Exactly. Yes. So uh, we have other um, things that are coming on, but we know say our uh, this thing don't they give us um, signal? Which other thing do we have to the inform the obedience? Okay, the, the NLC. They, you know, they said they're going to have a strike on the 8th. And 8th should be on Tuesday or two days to go. Today is 5th. Yes. And uh, in three days' time, they're going Three. to have uh, a distance. And they have a communique that they've sent out from Imo State coming out today. So let's take a look at their press release. Coming out today, uh, 5th of November, 2023. They said, titled, Hope Uzadema continues on his moderious uh, mission against Nigerian workers and trade union leaders, evades and attacks NLC president's community in Imo State. He said, the brazen and violent assault on the president of Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, Comrade Joe Ajero, and others on November 1st, 2023, inside the state secretariat of the Nigerian Labor Congress in Imo State, by Governor Hope Uzodema, his talks and the state police commissioner, stands as a stark reminder of the lengths to which they are willing to go in their pursuit of uh, suppression and brutality. In a shocking turn of events on the morning of November 4, 2023, being yesterday, 
Governor Hope Uzodema once again demonstrated his utter disregard for human rights and democratic principle by evading and attacking the community of Azara, Owar, and Emekuku, Oware Imo State, the hometown of NLC President Comrade Jay Jero. It is evident that the governor's sinister objective is the assassination of the president of the Congress, a motive led bare by his latest act of aggression on the community. This invasion was carried out under the misguided belief that Comrade Ejero was still present, recovering from injuries inflicted by the police and higher talks. The use of excessive force against citizens who hold di different opinions or dare to question the governor's governance style, particularly in relation to the inhuman treatment of workers in Imo State, is an affront to democracy. The current situation in Imo State is nothing short of a descent into fascism, where this uh, terror takes presence over reason and dialogue is pushing to the uh, is pushed to the sidelines. We urgently call on the Inspector General of Police to rein in the Imo State Police Commissioner, preventing further abuse and discretion of the nation's police force. The commissioner has become a tool of oppression in the hands of the of the fascist governor perpetrating intimidation and harassment on the people of Imo State. Immediate removal is essential to prevent an impeding crisis. The presence of the Federal Republic uh, and all patriot citizens of Nigeria must not remain silent in the face of this bloodshed. It is imperative that the governor be held accountable we believe that the president holds the means to reign in the excesses of the governor. And these measures must be swiftly employed to, the safeguard, to safeguard lives and properties in the state. The people of Azalawala are entitled to their peace and the continued occupation of their community by the police and Uzodim mass talks in the wake of the assault on their fellow citizens constitutes an ongoing insult. The occupying forces must immediately vacate the territory, granting the people the freedom to engage in their social economic activities without looming specter of terror. Governor Hope Uzodema should be under no illusion. Nigerian workers remain steadfast in their commitment to protect the rights of Imo state workers, deterred by the current wave of violence he has chosen to pursue. We draw strength from the events of November 1st, which will guide our future in interactions with the governor. The workers of Imo State will prevail, and Hope's attempt to thwart our cause through intimidation and violence will be in vain. Comrade Benson of our head media and information. So this one, nine, they come out from um, NLC. Uh, but what do we want to add for all this grammar where they speak inside here? We know what they go on for that very place. And we know say, now waiting a day massive way day for the top, and then they cause all this trouble because if they call all the workers where they in Nigeria today say where they suffer, where then they pay thirty thousand, I'll be ten thousand and twenty thousand naira. Say where then they call salary. We no even feed buy them food for one week. Yet then go go for um, go have meeting at the executive uh, level for Aso Rock. Then go come out there. Then go postpone their strike. Then go go another one. They never do anything for them. Then go postpone again. How you expect the people will be say? Uh, then they for the leadership how them go fit fear the people where you they rule you will be president of nigerian labor congress and people will be say then they inside they if they come up for streets fear go even catch the person where they for aso rock villa but you know no that one you they talk about emo state anyway we sympathize with the president of nlc and uh, all the people were full and where those things they happen to. But if you won't do strike to take back your country, make you do am now, make we see here, fear go catch the people where they there. And at that time, go no say, waiting we talk say it go happen for Nigeria, it go happen. 
Now that won't be the work when me I join to talk. And you know, say time don't give us signal. And the signal be say make we for waka they go until tomorrow when we will come back. So our people make on a like and share. Make other obedience and well meaning Nigerians everywhere know what they happen for Niger. We they come out everywhere they talk. I also want shout out to the people where they do their own for UK. And I encourage I encourage other people for other countries may they show their solidarity to this cause where we get. If you no know, say you no know, like what in the happen for Niger, you need to show them one way or the other. Like we would they come on, they talk them every time. We now they talk talk people for the obedient family. Now it be this. So we go they talk them. If you know where you day, make you join force, come out, show your displeasure for waiting to happen to your people for Niger. Hunger won't kill your people. Even the money where you they send them, where you think say that money na big money, you know if you buy anything again. So anywhere where you day, make you for show love to Nigerians where they for Niger by say your mind and do your thing whether not protest oh, you do if not right up oh, do but make we know say na talk na do now we they do but final finals we won't come up for studio i want all these off cycle elections where we won't do i they call all obedience worldwide i they call well meaning nigerians worldwide they have shown us that i make will not be able to give us results. They have shown us that the courts will not work, that they will send us to court. They have shown us all of these things. And if we can take it by being at the polling units, let's start with the off-cycle elections. Let's show our might. Let's show that the obedience matter. Have a nice day. See you again tomorrow. knows this. BBC knows that Nigerians are industrious people. BBC knows that Nigerians cannot in their best interest elect a rogue as a president. And what they do is to go out on the news to support him, <laughs> to say that his certificate is failed. We, don't know, we do not expect this from the BBC. Look at the Prime Minister of the UK. The Prime Minister of the UK okay. is a perfect gentleman. It's Look at the previous right. leaders of the UK. <laughs> Well, as he said, she no fit breed again for you. People that you can put out here. People that you can be proud of. So, and what do they do? Okay, you want to end the when this one finish, you end that. Such atrocities in Nigeria where fraud and every other thing goes on. Probably because they want a pipette. I think that's the only thing I explain. They want someone that can control. I would say that nothing would happen. It's high time we start saying these things. It's high time we start. BBC knows that Tinibu forged a certificate in Chicago State University. I do not know who he is. I do not know who went on air to say that the certificate is real. But we challenge them any day, any time to call us to BBC to discuss these things. And I will leave it at that. Yes, yes. But what we are saying here is that Nigeria doesn't have a truly democratic president. Yes. We are still in an autocratic setting. Yes. We need to establish that fact here. Yes. And everybody knows, needs to know that. I will stop it here. Many, probably some other day, we'll talk more about these things. Probably on the studio, probably some other protest. But I know that this is the start of something great. Yep. This is the start of something great. And I believe that with time, in no distant time, Nigeria will be fully liberated and totally liberated. And all our enemies will be put to shame just very soon. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you.